game is called Skull the Hero Slayer. It is an action roguelike. It is very hectic. It's fucking crazy. A little bit of rogue legacy in here in terms of progression uh, and overall just a really really good game. Rogue Legacy Dead Cells depending on what uh, depending on how old you are. <laughs> so it is it is a uh, currently it's currently available on on Steam for $19.99. It is not an early access title so what you see is what you get but of course there's going to be upgrades or updates and such that come down later down the line. Uh, overall though there's a fair amount of content and it feels like a really solid game. This is is definitely what you should put into your rotation and I'll show you why. So this is your starting area much like in Rogue Legacy and Dead Cells you have kind of your lobby your uh your starting area where you could go through you could talk to a couple people and get a couple upgrades or maybe you know uh attune certain things uh with the witch here who is my favorite uh you can add traits and this is where you go through and do these very very incremental upgrades to your character and I mean incremental I mean like small but it does stack Stacks up to 10 times, as a matter of fact, for most of these, pretty much all of them. Oh, uh, no, two for these ones. Uh, so you can take this up to, uh, what is it? It starts off at three, so 30% increase in physical attack damage by the time you're done. So it will add up, but it does cost you quite a bit of gems. You get these things as you play and just basically drop off of things. Um, so... Uh, you do have other characters you'll unlock as you play as well, and I have a few here, and I think there's probably going to be more coming, because there's space over here, maybe? I don't know. Is there a platform here? Is that what this is? Yeah, so maybe somebody else will be up here. I'm not sure. Uh, this guy will give me a mask. Uh... And in this case, it's what? Skeleton Sword. Uh, let's see when swapping inflicts bleed and attack a target. Okay, cool. We're going to talk about this stuff as we go. This guy gives you a perk. He says, I usually don't give away my treasures, but I give them to you. You good. There we go. And this is your your treasures. This is, basically, this is a perk. Uh, so his attacks uh, create a 10% chance of burning enemies. Ooh, very cool. There we go. That's for me. Um, so... You have two different skill sets that you can swap out of by hitting the right bumper. Why? Whatever key. I, I swapped this out because I recently played uh, Ender Lilies, and so I, I was uh, so used to that control scheme, I swapped everything out. So don't don't trust me when I say hit this key or that key because my key binds are all different. Um, so let me see. So now I am um, well. Then this particular character, I'll go and show you. He has one attack here. You throw that, and then you hit the B button. You'll teleport to your head. It does do damage, so you can throw it at somebody and then teleport to it if you want to. It's pretty good for kind of uh, maintaining some kind of maneuverability. But this is what you start with. Uh, then you swap to this, and he has a like temporary buff here, so he'll be able to do a little bit of damage or do something. Uh, what is this thing here? I guess as it just gives him a oh that just gives him a buff here. What did it say? It did. Let me see. Uh, inflicts poison on attack targets for 10 seconds. Oh, nice. Okay, so when swapping, inflicts bleed on attack targets for 6 seconds. Wow, cool. So you could do a lot of work to a group of guys. Uh, now, as you'll see when we start to play, now the rounds are like 5 minutes each, so we're gonna probably go through a handful while we play. Um... But when you, when you, uh, when what you see once we get in is that there's no hitboxes on these guys. Uh, the only hitboxes are, are their attack arc. So that's what you have to worry about is basically not being in their attack arc when they do something. Uh, but you could run through them just like back and forth, no problem, easy peasy. So that allows them to group up uh, and allows you to get in the mix and start doing a lot of damage. Now, again, it does get crazy hectic. It isn't action. The action is like an all caps with asterisks around it. It's action roguelike. There's a lot of action and it feels really good. Uh, very visceral, lots of like impact everything that you do um and you see here my items so you get a lot of items as you go and you can destroy certain ones if you don't like them and this is right here volcano alchemy it says it creates three bursting flames every 35 blank 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 uh and then you can upgrade these things as you go i believe you could basically add more of a volcano or alchemy and it'll increase those numbers i don't know we, we played the crap out of this like uh the other day on stream and i don't think we learned anything <laughs> i don't think we learned anything about the game we were just playing it and having a good time uh it's perfect for that kind of that kind of uh gameplay right i mean this is the reason why you play these action roguelike platformers, whatever you want to call them, um, is because you want to get in, you want to do a couple rounds, have a blast, and then get out. Just going to activate the poison here. Poison! Look at that. Oh man, it does a stack. It looks like it stacks. Oh god, the uh, poison cloud guy. Now when I swap, that's my uh, animation. When I swap every other skull you pick up, uh, and you can only have two at a time. Uh, will have a different uh, mechanic when you swap. Oh, this is new. Ooh, legendary. Boy, we're in for a good run now. Look at this. So, 
Uh, we'll explain this stuff as we go. But uh, it says on every fifth stop, stomps the ground with Yaksha's foot dealing physical damage. Tackle. Dashes are considered attacks, cannot dash consecutively. So this is what I was talking about, how the, the, each skull can actually modify even your most basic your most basic mechanics, which allows for so much flexibility in how they uh, design some of these skulls, and you could just have like two different sets that just feel like two completely different games. Um, so, rolling stop when when swapping stomps enemies with Yaksha's foot, dealing physical damage. Sorcery Goblin stomps the ground over lots of stomping, uh, stomps the ground overpowering enemies and slams the target with his club, do physical damage. And Yaksha's fist throws punches. Okay, cool. Let's go and pick it up, and we'll uh, now notice here. You see, what it says uh, uh, left trigger. Uh, pick up a left trigger hold is destroy. It's gonna be whatever button you guys assign it to. Um, so destroying it will give me bones, and then bones will let me upgrade augment abilities uh, when I meet Arachna, uh, this uh, this very sexy uh, uh, spider lady. Um, and you need bones in order to do you know, do some upgrades. Uh, bones are collected from breaking things down. A legendary is gonna be 44, but a common can give me like five. See, so I'm gonna pick this up. Ooh. Uh, there's uh, some. They, they spawn target dummies you could test this stuff. Okay, cool. A little combo there. Nice, nice, nice. Let's try to dash. Eight damage. Ooh, so every fifth. That's what it said. One, two, three, four, five. Where is it at? Oh, it's the meter at the bottom left corner. Oh, it's every fifth combo. There it is. Huh, ha huh, ha. Huh. And this. Nice. Just lays down a little some damage field there. That's a little punch. Cool. Well, I wrecked that thing. Oh, now it's all on cooldown. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot of work. Look at that. Nice stomp. This guy's strong. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, painful for if I get to a boss. That's the thing too. Is like it's just like. Give me over here. It's just like every every action RPG, every action, sorry, uh, uh, roguelike where you get like a really good build. And it could be a first person shooter, it could be a platformer, it could be whatever. You get like a really good build and you're like, oh, this is the one, boy, I'm going right to the top. <laughs> and then you just die. <laughs> uh, let me see, common, I uh, see, generates 30 gold per Carlion. Oh, this is great. This is just basically start generating money. Ba-ting. Oh, you son of a bitch. Gotta be careful of his swing arc. Now these buildings here, uh, you see, is amplifies physical and magical damage. You gotta be careful. These guys are coming after me here. Uh, so yeah, you basically smash them and just give you a boost, some kind of boost, whatever. It's a uh, attack speed or whatever. Uh, I'll just use one. Normally that guy gets off his main attack before I could get to him like that. So the fact that I'm able to oh, kill one of these guys before that is great. Yeah, it's so hard. Okay, good. And then huh. so we have to kill everybody before we leave. The game doesn't let you com uh, complete the map unless you do. Is there nothing over here? Too many Metroidvanias. I feel like something has to be here. This is- I hate this map layout. Yeah, he's had the same attack he does. <laughs> now I notice I am getting health uh, from certain mobs. Oh, jeez. So it's not- a, it's not a total loss if I take a couple hits. But not every mob's gonna give me health. So you end up going, going through a dry streak. Not getting anything. Here we go. So this is kind of your mid-game uh, upgrade center. Uh, we are making good money as we progress here, so this is good. Physical attack by 25%. We're going to get that and probably this. Let me see. Randomly cast a 10 second buff every 10 seconds. Sure. Let's increase crit rate. Now we can't afford that and this, though. So we'll take this and then we'll take this. Now, hold on a second. Actually, yeah, we'll get this. Um, now over here, uh, let's see. Petty Thief. Oh, this thing is awesome. Okay, so what do I have on the other side? This. Let's go ahead and take the Petty Thief. Because, let's see. What is his... Um, now, so something else to keep in mind: the uh, uh, you see the the Y button attack, the special attack. That special attack, it, even though you know, if you might get the same petty thief uh, skull, 
there's a there's a couple different uh, special attacks that'll be associated with it. So you'll get like a random roll as which one it is. I've had um I think I have like a shadow roll. Yeah, that's a shadow roll, and I had another one too. The shadow roll is pretty nice because I think it just gives you straight up invulnerability, and it's just another basic roll here. So you throw smoke grenade, deal mad damage, and rolls backwards. Well, invulnerable to evade enemy attacks. There you go, and it stacks three times, or you can you can have it uh, stack three times and use it in succession. Uh, 85 gold as we're leaving here. Perfect. And the character character is pretty zippy. Ah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. It's a random boss, right? But I'm so glad it's this guy. So this is Leroy Jenkins. Um, well, they don't say that necessarily. His name's Hans Zendrick, but there you go, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> there we go. So this guy's like hella fast. Like he's just such a good character. But we're gonna swap to this guy here, just so we can yeah put the foot down. I'm just gonna see if I can tank him. Nope, up the air. Yeah, he's gonna start drinking. We get a couple of hits here. Boom, they have to get out because now he's gonna do this. Woo! Leroy, jump! Ah, oh, dang, jump right through him. Yes, he's so fast. This thing's so fast. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what makes this game so fun. Is that there's just so much flexibility with these skulls. You can just have two completely different runs. Uh, try all these crazy builds. Uh, oh. And you know, there's enough. There's enough opportunity to swap things out where you can. You you can you know kind of hedge your bets and try to get your hands on a couple good skulls and get some good combos. Call and recruit, don't want that one. Uh, Ring of Wind, increase attack speed by 50% and boost it by 10%. That's kind of nice, especially for this guy. Increase max HP by 25. Oh, man, that's a good one too. Oh, this is this hurts, it's painful. <sighs> Let's tank it. Let's tank it. And we get the orb too. That's an invincibility orb. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I don't have anything to spend on her, but we could talk to her for a minute if we want to. Arachnid, she says, yes, child, you prepare the bone fragment. Well, uh, let's just talk. What humans feel toward me would be somewhere between hatred and disgust. I can't forget the way they looked at me. Look, I'm a bug or something, and they only have two legs. If she wasn't there, I'd probably still be, hmm, if you didn't say anything, child. There's an un un underlying story that you'll encounter, but I think for the most part, you're just playing this just to, uh, just to blow off some steam. Just to play. Whoa, laser guy. Or bowyer, or whatever. Whoa. God, I hate this. Oh, I hate this guy. Just toast two of them, no wonder. I was like, why are they getting so many attacks off? Exploding barrels don't hurt you, by the way. So you just get over here and just boop. Also, the enemies uh, have friendly fire, which is just hilarious. <laughs> Let me see if I can go ahead and just stop. <laughs> Did you kill it? <laughs> they have a couple of little, uh, uh, little quips, little one liners they throw out. Oh, man, I have to swap to this. Oh, I've already played with this build, actually. So we're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to take this and we're going to destroy this one. I have no use for this, unfortunately. So there we go. So this, this, you guys are going to love this. You guys are going to love this. Writer. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, that's a different uh, secondary attack. Cool. Like I said, you know, you don't necessarily get just what uh, uh, what it's uh, uh, like this like same static build every time. The skulls also have their own random uh, skill selectors. So, so yeah, you get a lot of flexibility in this game, man. Like no two runs are alike for sure, and good because you know it's it shouldn't be that way. <laughs> now, that's a long cooldown, by the way, on that. So. Oh, this is this is awesome. That's a really really good ability actually. Better than the other one he has, I think. Well, one of the other ones he has. Get me up here and over. Oh, another skull, huh? Alchemist summons a imperfect dark stone golem every 15 seconds. Ooh, I'm gonna destroy it. We're not gonna we're not gonna be able to spend these bones though. We're not gonna run into Arachna again, I don't think. Oh, I didn't see this tile. So it is it's procedurally generated. I don't think I need to really explain that part. Um. But it is procedurally generated. They take damage in the spikes, by the way. Um, oh. And so, oh god. One second. Uh, 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 so you're gonna see tiles that you know you're gonna have repeating every once in a while, and occasionally you'll get a new one. I have to go down there and get it. That's right. Hang it. Get these guys out of here. Oh, god. Good. Clean. 
Money. Money I can't spend. Elite. Oh, I, I can't spend it. Oh, jeez. I forgot. Oh, here we go. And skull. It's a pretty good one, actually. Uh, but I can't... You can't destroy this one. Once you swap this skull out, the other guy puts it on his head and he's like, Is this my skull? <laughs> like he's lost his head or something. Increase magic damage by third by 45%. Mmm. Unleashes acid breath three times, dealing magic damage. Looks poison effect. That would be pretty good, actually. Let me go take that. See what's down here. Uh, when hit, creates an explosion that deals physical damage. Also cool. Berserker's Gauntlet. Increase attack speed up to 6% uh, in portion to your HP loss. Wow, 1,000. This is uh, pricey probably, probably because it's pretty good. And what is this one? Okay, attack speed and movement speed. Also really good too, actually. Attack speed up to 6%. Oh, you know what? I think um, I think this is the best thing. Just straight, cause, because the uh, motorcycle effect is uh, magic and that's really good. At clearing mobs out, so and we'll lo we'll lose the uh, the invulnerability, but that's fine. We'll just destroy it here. There we go. We get nothing for that. Uh, I have 669 still. I can't really afford anything. I don't think. Yeah, I can't afford squat. That sucks. That's fine. <sighs> we'll be fine. Oh gosh. There we go. Get this guy clean out. Go, 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 <laughs> Oh, God. Come up. Wham. <sighs> knock him into the water. Or knock him into the spikes. Let do the work. Mm. Oh, no, no, I gotta get up there. Oh, that's fine. We'll take care of the guys down here first. That should kill him. We gotta get this guy. Ah! This. Ah! Ah, just annoying. Those ants. The ants are just so annoying. Alright, hurry up, go. There we go. Good. Now you don't have to pick up the money, um, but I believe you have to pick up the health. So like if the money drops right there, it doesn't matter. It goes in your pocket. Ah, here we go. Carlin Gate. Oh boy. We're, we're going to go right into the boss. This is the first run? I believe so. Ah, we may only get like two runs out of this then. Unless we beat the boss, in which case... This is the same build I had on the first time I beat the boss, by the way. But I was a little bit speedier though. I think I had something else to augment that. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Ooh, controller shaking like crazy. All right. Oh god, that's the. Ugh. I gotta swap. Oh, great, now I can't. Oh jeez. Uh. Now he's gonna drop. Then we gonna swap. Now we're gonna do this. Do a lot of work that way. It's out of the way. Good, good, good. Oh, jeez. So close. We'll ride this up. Now he's gonna do. He's gonna smash. I think. Oh no, he's gonna do this thing again. Okay. It's not over though. Now he's mad. Now we get the real fight. Now he's gonna start doing this business. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh god, get away, get away! Oh, dang it! Oh man! Hey, pretty good though. Let's do another run. Oh gosh, let's go talk to our friend. Hi. 
I need a hug. <laughs> God, it sucks. It sucks. Physical attack by 120. Uh, let's go to keep this thing uh, on par with each other in terms of spend. 120, 100. Yeah, we'll do that. 120, 120. Good. Ah, <sighs> just incrementally moving things up. You can save up if you want to and do this. Reduces the damage received by power type skulls by 0%. I forgot to tell you guys about that, actually. There are different uh, uh, different classifications of skulls, uh, different archetypes. So, let's see. We'll get uh, the... Hey, Petty Thief. Cool. So, we look at the Petty Thief, um, and you'll see he is a common speed. And this is a, a common balance on the right-hand side there. Uh, top right next to the name so yeah there are there are augments you can get that are related to specific to the um the uh type the archetype as well looks poor let me see let me take a drink here mm. Ooh, this is a good one inflict stun on nearby enemies when swabbing don't mind that guy Okay, let's do this. No! Oh, so you have a different ability here. Ah, way different skill. I've never used that skill, actually. <laughs> I've never seen it. Oh, that's funny. See, like, I don't know how many different skills are, like, secondary skills there are for, um, or magic skills there are uh, for each skull. But uh, I keep discovering more, and it's it's fantastic. Whoa, getting close. If I swap to stun, nice. Oh, it doesn't stun the big guys though. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah. Huh, 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 huh. Oh jeez. That's a lot of damage that it does though. That might be good if we end up getting to the boss. I really do like the petty thief. Uh, and again, I think you can get him pretty fast. Uh, that might have just been the augments and everything that I picked up for him. Look at that. I hate these. I hate, I hate all the enemies. I don't know why I'm just picking them out individually. Oh, yes, you can't send the big guys. Oh, oh, it's on cooldown. Yeah, I don't think you have to pick anything up. What do we have here? Uh, let's see. Water Spirit Undyne follows the player and hurls ice bolts every three seconds. Yeah, sure, we'll take it. Cool. Spirit. Two spirits. Ah, health. Give me, give me, give me. Recovers HP. Gives you, uh, like, I think it takes like two to three each, so it could give you anywhere between uh, like eight and twelve or something like that. Oh, yes. Uh, so not only is there friendly fire uh, with the enemies, but also the uh, any environmentals, like environmental enemies, like that tentacle over there that you cannot kill, um, they will also, whoa, do work to any anybody that just gets nearby. It's kind of like a exploding barrel. Same concept. No. Oh, she spikes. Huh, huh, huh. Nice freeze. Nice freeze. These little spirits are gonna come in handy. Clean up. Oh, let's go here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody up there is dead already. I don't know how. I think my my spirits. Huh, get off the edge. Nope. Yeah, so we have to click the health. Okay, good. I wasn't sure, so I wanted to wait. For twenty. Oh, what the? God, Jesus! <laughs> Calm down. Uh, oh, they're attacking the. <laughs> they're attacking the uh, target dummies. Iron Tooth's a bitter cold. It creates a twenty percent chance of freezing enemies that you land on after jumping. Ooh, uh, this increases the skeleton soldiers' physical magical attack by by thirty percent. Notice that it's specific skeleton soldiers. Uh, this is hate stone. Increases magic up by 50% uh, three seconds after hit. Wow, look at these guys are just messing that dude up. There's nothing else to get, so I might as well go and get this then. 20% chance of freezing enemies. Sure, just gonna be tons and tons and tons of, um... Oh, there's a restock! Gosh, I didn't even know that! Yeah, there's restock! Oh, this is straight physical attack damage. Yes, I think that's a yes. 
see when it hit creates an explosion uh, every spirit you have oh man that's also really good so I have two spirits let's get it this will be an interesting build this will be a really interesting build oh new new hero enemy the um he gets a little speech when you first when you first encounter him ah oh, crap I gotta remember what his, what his skills are Can do this bullshit. Stun. Doesn't stun, of course. Nasty demons! Oh, boom. Get close. Get a stun. Well, not really. But do some damage. Now he's gonna go into his second phase here. For his uh, mid-phase attack. Whoa! That's right, that thing. Wow, there's a lot of damage. That Y attack does so much damage. Fantastic. Ooh, a Jester. These guys are pretty dope. Um, actually, you know what? Boy, let's take a look and see what we have over here first. Physical attack damage, and then when dashing throws a da dagger that deals physical damage increased. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's go do this. So yeah, this guy's got... Oh, which one is it? Let me see. Yes, cool. So it drops a bunch of bombs. Great for just, like, crowd control. Uh, and then he throws daggers. So it's a good little range. Look at this. Super good. Uh, what's his, uh, what's it when he, when he switches? Let me see this. Wait a second here. Wait for the cooldown. I don't want to see what it is. I should just read it, but you know. Ah, cool. Just a quick attack. Ah, I have nothing for her. Yeah, nice solid damage. Things are freezing all over the place. We have a lot. Of, we have a lot of triggers. A lot of uh, whoa. Oh gosh. Bombs everywhere. Swap. I'm taking a little too much damage here. I got to make it to the boss one more time here. No, don't don't fire anything. Where's this ice guy? Oh, he's here somewhere, right? So, there is this over here. Whoa. Oh, there's health over there. Good. I need it. I need every bit of health I can get. This is just a damage increase, but I might be able to make it last through the next round, maybe? Oh! Come on, man. I just got that health. Yes, we'll take it. <laughs> Whatever it is, let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Get out of the freaking spikes! No! No! Dang it! Get over here. Is that it? No, there's another couple guys over here. Sometimes they're so quick to fire. You don't have an opportunity. I have 590 gold. I think I have enough to get a heal if I can find some heals. Tail to pike. Nope. I mean, it's a decent skull, but... Oh, 750. Oh, my gosh, I have no money. Oh, I'm gonna die. What is this? Uh, water skull. That was also super dope, but no. Actually, you know what? The water skull may be better than the, uh, pirate. Let's see, dive, overflow. Let's see, charges. So, do you know what I'm doing? The form charges the full consumes. Let's go and pick it up. Yeah, I think this might be a little bit better. Yeah, that, that, that attack, that, uh, Y attack is pretty strong. Plus, we, you know, we're gonna fight a boss that's not gonna be moving, so. If we get there, that is. Yeah, strong, strong physical attacks. Oh, no, I swapped out my, uh, oh, dang, I swapped the wrong one. Oh, no. That's, oh, that's GG. I mean, I'll probably still make it to the boss at least, right? Right, guys? Right, 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 right. Ah, oh, it's just not gonna, I'm not gonna be happy about it. Ah, oh, I can't believe I swapped out my freaking ninja. Dang. 
That's painful. Painful. Whoa! Oh man, I haven't seen this tile before. Uh, what is this? What is this? What is this gonna give me again? Attack speed. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Drop a bunch of bombs. Ah! No. No, 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 no. you. This guy right here. This is the one. I hate this guy. That bomb is mine, by the way, whenever I swap. 10 health. I don't know how we're getting anywhere with this bullshit. Warrior, power charges, sloppy slams enemies' body and deals physical damage. No, 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 dang it. Already screwed up so much. Oh my god, we're gonna go to this fight with 10 health. Hey, you know what though? This is uh, Need for Breakfast. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> the game is called Skull. <laughs> the Hero Slayer. The 10 health Hero Slayer. Here we go. Oh man. Without my thief. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Available on Steam right now for $19.99. Again, the game is called Skull the Hero Slayer. My name is Mike, the AK40. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.